Georgia courtroom, FBI agents read private and public messages of the men convicted in Ahmaud Arbery's killing, exposing racial slurs and threats against African Americans. CBS 46's Haley Mason live in Brunswick for us again at the federal courthouse. And Haley, racism read aloud in the courtroom today. Rick, today the most disturbing and racially offensive details came to surface today. The FBI has used their top resources to pull years and years of text messages and online posts to show the jury how each defendant has expressed hatred toward African Americans. And just this afternoon, Miss uh, Wanda Cooper Jones, Ahmaud Arbery's mother, just walking up to the courthouse. She has not been inside that courtroom since Monday because so much has been hard to listen to. I do want to warn you that many of the statements in this report you may find offensive as well. The Department of Justice using years of social media posts and online data to show that the three defendants have a long history of expressing hatred for African Americans and that the McMichaels often made statements about wanting to harm them. The DOJ looking to prove that because of his race, the men tried to obstruct Ahmaud Arbery from using a public street and that the men associate African Americans as criminals and support vigilantism. Five months before Aubrey was murdered, Greg McMichael posted a Facebook status saying, a gun in the hand is worth more than an entire police force on the phone. One man posted on Facebook that his surfboard had been stolen. Greg McMichael replied, maybe I'll catch the sorry SOB up here in Georgia. We still hang horse and board thieves. Woe be to the sticky fingered bastard. As for Travis, investigators say he was active on multiple social media sites and text messages. A friend complaining about something being stolen told Travis he worries about his father in those situations because he's, quote, slap happy and doesn't mind going to jail. Travis responded, that's what we need more of. My old man is the same way. Hell, I'm getting that way. Have to make an example. I keep my shotgun loaded with high point fives. It will rip someone to shreds. And Anne refers to Ma just like she's talking about nothing. Uh, where is the remorse? In many messages, Travis talked about how much he hates N-words, saying they ruin everything. In one post, he asked people to run over Black Lives Matter protesters with their cars. As for William Roddy Bryan, an FBI analyst testified that he exclusively referred to black people as the N-word and boot lip. And in his Facebook post, he assumed that black people were behind local crimes. Four days before Arbery was killed, Bryan learned that his own daughter had a black boyfriend. Investigators say he was upset and told a woman in a text she doesn't care about herself. Why should we? Arby's father in court shook his head, having to be consoled during this testimony. I, I ain't really shocked because I already know all that hate was in them three men. But it's just it's just really a shame that they got that much hate in them for African American people. And jurors today were very attentive, many of them taking copious notes and tracking with their eyes as each person testified, especially that FBI agent. Even one of Travis McMichael's closest friends took the stand today before jurors heard from the homeowner, Larry English, who testified in a nearly four hour deposition. Reporting outside the federal courthouse in Glenn County, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.